Hello YouTube, and welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the field of physics. Scientists from the University of Rome have detected antiprotons in the Earth's magnetic field. Cosmic rays are constantly hitting Earth, but its magnetic field protects us. However, some of the particles from the radiation get trapped inside the field and orbit the Earth. Positrons have previously been detected, but for the first time, antiprotons have as well. So far, only a few have been detected, but the scientists say there are potentially billions. And it's possible they orbit the Earth for hours before annihilating with normal matter. This discovery opens the door to potentially fuel spaceships with antimatter in Earth orbit. Our next story comes from the world of astronomy. A project by both NASA and the European Space Agency have found the first undisputed source of molecular oxygen in space. This may seem odd considering that oxygen is the third most abundant element in the universe, but for a long time, scientists have had trouble detecting its molecular form in space. Scientists have many ideas on where the oxygen could be hiding. Even within the Orion star forming complex, where the oxygen was discovered, there was less than expected. But they say it's still an important discovery and should help them find more hidden oxygen. And a team of cosmologists at the University College London are for the first time directly testing multiverse theory. Many models of physics suggest that our universe is like a bubble floating among many in a multiverse, and that these bubbles sometimes collide. The team ran simulations on what effects the collisions could have, and think there could be evidence in the cosmic microwave background. They now have an algorithm designed to scan through current data on the cosmic microwave background, looking for patterns. If they find the patterns, it could be evidence our universe is one of many. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links in the video description.